All right, welcome to SoulFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host for the most. You know, it's very funny that of recently they started pushing this vaccination thing and they started talking about the whole um, malaria breakout in Jamaica. You know, we've been through the whole chicken gunya and all these other things. And then there was this malaria scare. So when this white face monkey was found or reports of monkeys being seen in Jamaica, I started thinking to myself, we don't have monkeys in Jamaica, so someone is bringing these monkeys in, but I went a bit further, and I was like, let me see if these monkeys carry anything in specific that could relate to, right? Now, people are scared, and people are thinking, shit, somebody might be dropping them in Jamaica, pardon my language, but somebody might be dropping them in Jamaica to spread Ebola and all this other stuff. If you can imagine widespread Ebola, it would just wipe out Jamaica, Okay. Now, anyways, white-faced capuchins, can be ca they carry various diseases while in the wild because they're caught for the pet trade mostly. These diseases can easily be transmitted to humans. The white-faced capuchins are known carriers of malaria and microfilaria. They are known carriers of malaria and microfilaria. These diseases appear to be more prevalent in infants and juveniles, possibly because of their weaker immune systems. Hmm. And did you know that majority of them are actually bred in captivity? There are very few of them in the wild, as per scientific study. And also, they have a lifespan where they live up to about 55 years. And they breed at a pretty slow rate. Because the female gives birth to one at each birth. Just like, um, well, I can't say just like humans because some humans have twins and even more. But the mother gives birth to one per every two years. So it's a slow birth pace. But anyways... Still something that we need to look into. So, the white-faced capuchin monkey captured in St. Andrew. And this is not the first report of this. The National Environment and Planning Agency, I'm taking this from Loop, has reported the capture of a non-native white-faced capuchin monkey that was sighted in Jacks Hill, St. Andrew over the past few days. The monkey was successfully captured, though, after they put up a, um, some kind of a trap and... Got it. I'm pretty sure it was a simple trap and it had food in it and the monkey being out there. These monkeys actually eat more of fruits and nuts and stuff like that. And they're said to be a important part of, say, the population of trees in heavy canopy areas like rainforest areas and whatnot. So they eat the fruits and whatnot and then they poop it out and wherever they travel and poop the seeds, there grows another tree of that fruit that they were eating, whatever. Anyways, Dr. Upsell Watson, Chief Veterinary Officer, Veterinary Service Division said that the division has always been concerned about the frequency of these reports of these sightings of these exotic animals in Jamaica because they are not from that region. This situation is no doubt has a direct threat to public health and safety as it relates to non-human primates which have the potential to transmit diseases, pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites to humans. This particular monkey is actually known to carry a stomach parasite. So, Hmm. A joint division will also be taken by the NEPA and VSD on the fate of the monkey once these tests have been received. So right now they have this monkey and they're running all kinds of tests on the monkey. Boy, Jamaica, something about Jamaicans, boy, if an egg we in the red, everything we have to be in it. NEPA explained that the white-faced capuchin monkey, or the Sebus imitator as it's called scientifically, is not a native or it is, it is exotic in Jamaica. The occurrence of this non-native, potentially invasive species poses significant risk to Jamaica's terrestrial ecosystem and agricultural sector, the release said. Now, if you can imagine a whole bunch of them off in the wild in Jamaica and then breeding, breeding, breeding before anyone finds them, if they learn to adapt and stay away from human sight, 
And then before you know it, we have hundreds of them running wild across the country. Some countries have these. Like I know, for instance, in India, you will see the monkeys come up and they're very friendly to people. And they actually are allowed to live around the area. And people don't hold them and keep them locked up in houses as pet. They just, like you'll put your food down, it's like a teeth in post. They'll run by and pick up the food and stuff like that. So anyways, the importance and or trade of these non-native species without required permits are actually illegal. And this act could run you up to $2 million in fines and two years of imprisonment. Now, they're asking that anyone citing any monkeys across Jamaica, please call the 876-754-7540 number or call the toll-free 888-9888-9915005. Don't call the number on somebody who you think ugly because you said them look like monkey. I'm not talking about the girl with put on her makeup and her wig wrong. I'm talking about, I'm talking about if you really see a real monkey. Alright, now. People are saying stuff like this. Dennis Chin said, suppose a Ebola. Them drop in a Jamaica with the monkey. May I start praying from? No. That is a very, 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 very real concern. Alright. Chris King Iron says, please do not include it in government. I don't know what that mean, but let's see. Robert Thomas says, these are just some of the things that happen when you have a relaxed enforcement of laws and people with poor investigative skills conducting them. Tell me how you going to charge and prosecute when there are never any active investigations into these cases. It is because these violations of our laws are being committed by rich people because poor people can't afford to import no exotic monkeys let's be for real and that's one of the first things i thought to myself too up at jack cell flat i just <laughs> i just see it i just see the monkey eh you could see the monkey negatively eh <laughs> i saw if an investigation was large i would bet that the neighbors would tell them who owned that darn monkey right the problem with Jamaica is that poor people are always the ones that are subjected to bear the full penalties of the law. While I'm guessing that the wealthy walks away scot-free. I did a video on that the other day and I must tell you that Jamaicans are very accepting of that is the way that things are. Okay? Them say, well, so flow and only Jamaica, you know, everywhere stay so. You have a lot of money, your money talks. You get away with a whole lot more than poor people. You know what I'm saying? Anyway... Guest number three says, now if all the illegal firearm holding blackface monkey would be replaced with whiteface monkeys, Jamaica would deal with the beautiful change and the island would be a great place to play, work and live again. <laughs> Did you get that? Now if all the illegal firearm holding blackface monkeys would be, so wait there, I'm not even sure I laugh because you call people monkey. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're all God creation, whether you're a horse, donkey, monkey, or human. But I understand the analogy because, in other words, he's saying then that these monkeys aren't killing anybody. They're not pick up no gun and kill nobody. But, let's not be stupid, they could be coming in with diseases that can wipe out an entire population of people. You know what I'm saying? And we go back to the whole Ebola talk. Malaria talk. Alright. Robert Thomas said, you mean your ancestors were monkeys? So what does that make you? The capuchin is a white-faced monkey. Hold the derogatory comments, man. Let's keep it respectful. People are people regardless of their color and their behavior. Please be mindful of that when you're posting stuff. And guest number three come back and said, you did not get it. And your idiot reply and urge to anger in your reply you are so far off i have no respect for any illegal firearm murdering dog droppings or blackface monkeys in jamaica again the vast amount of illegal firearm holding murderers blackface monkeys in jamaica should be replaced with the white face capuchin monkeys whose only threat to jamaica is the spread of disease such as hepatitis etc instead 
the daily murders committed by murderous blackface monkeys with illegal firearms. Now, it is a great possibility my ancestors descended from apes and monkeys and gorillas, Mr. Thomas. Either way, I am proud. I'm loving this. Either way, I am proud. With that said, you imbecile, your imbecile attempt and rushed attack with insult only goes to show your level of comprehension and your lack of the basic critical thinking skills which our parent installed into us as kids while we were growing up. Learn to read to understand and not to understand to read, okay? <laughs> Alright, so Robert Thomas said, you have me laughing hard, you know. Your education level sticks out like a sore, a sore thumb. Can't even construct a good sentence. It is no wonder you were recruited as a gun bunny in the U.S. military. Hmm, I don't know where all of that come from, you know. Anyway, guest number three says, construct a good sentence. Yeah, this has gone far off the monkey, hasn't it? But I <laughs> enjoy the conversation. Construct a good sentence. Don't have to show my skill, Jig. They are earned the hard way. Recruited as a gun bunny in the U.S. military. Hmm. Enlisted and worked my way up. Two ranks from a sergeant major as an airborne paratrooper, senior sergeant, first class, E7. It's the, aha. Uh -huh. This is in my line right here. It's hangers on like your ass who are looking for free stuff in America. The great POTUS Trump. <laughs> Is trying to get rid of your lack of common sense is telling and you still stuck in Obama's yes we can toilet move on better get your tired ass back to Jamaica and help the motherland with your superior sentence construction tactics god have mercy De them dead say you sound like you sound like your head head still stuck deep in a your own battle, laugh out loud. But Robert Thomas said, don't pay that lunatic any mind. We all know he is crazy. We just having some fun at his expense, laugh out loud. And guest number three says, nightly with your mother. She seeks below deck and like the battle down there. Oh God. D Brown says, where did this population come from originally? Maybe someone brought them in as exotic pets and some escaped and staggered and started breeding up. Alright, so that whole freaking, <laughs> that whole argument right there is just crazy. So here's the range of the um, white face capuchin if anyone wants to know. So the white face capuchins are actually natives of the forests of Central America and northwestern parts of South America. They can be found from Colombia to Brazil to Panama, they are also available in major parts of Costa Rica. That is where they're normally found. Other places they're found because they are the most common monkey that is actually captured for the exotic animal trade. And because they are very friendly, they learn fast and they can do stuff like stretch out their hand, shake your hand, act like humans, interact with you like a human, except for speaking your language, right? And I'll leave that there. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Have you sighted a monkey in Jamaica recently? I'm gonna talk about people again. Have you sighted a monkey on the island recently? Or have you heard of any such thing on the island? Matter of fact, in some places, these monkeys are even eaten. What says you? The spread of diseases, government agency dropping these monkeys in, or rich people, pets going loose. Talk up. I'm out. Peace.